Baby dolls, if you want utility in crypto, on average, they have less performance on the upside because they don't really focus on grabbing a community, grabbing attention, and basically building memes and culture. They don't do that. But if you want utility, there are options available here for you. So I'm going to speak to you about Fame, which is a GMX fork on Pulse Chain. Okay, so this is the probably friends separate the men from the boys when it comes to these friends. In investing, you have to completely remove your ego. There are low prices and there are high prices. You understand? I'm just a fart in the wind. I'm a nobody. So the founder of Fame, okay, and the associates out there, so they're pretty much most of them have blocked me. They say terrible things about me, called me a, every name you can think about, child abuser, make up lies, false allegations all the time. That's okay. Everyone's just talking words, just words on the internet. Uh, always accuse me of fudding, et cetera, all these other things. But I mean, friends, you've opened your eyes. You're like, hey, uh, what happened exactly 66 days ago? Maybe a founder may or may not have tweeted something down, which might be considered FUD, which actually sent the prices down 90%. But of course, it's very hard for people who run a sacrifice project, take everyone's money and mint a token. It is almost impossible for them to go and say, hey, founder, wrong move. They're never going to say that. No way. Of course, incentives. Because uh, Richard Hart did shout out the protocol themselves. So that's something. And it allows you to basically leverage trade. Now, here's the thing, friends. I have every power available to me to just say, you know what, let's move on. Let's not look at it all. But I'm just going to show you, okay, we can rise beyond our own ego to look at these things, okay? So fame, friends, look at this fame. So fame, friends, its market cap is only 10 million right now, 10 million. And if you want to look at something to compare, you can look at GMX. Now, GMX, friends, is 270 million market cap. Look at the price. GMX has actually been dumped down. It's quite of interesting, right? GMX, which is, it lets you leverage trade basically, friends. But by the way, just don't do one because it's really expensive. And on average, you get destroyed. Like it's very high borrowing rates. A lot of the edge gets just diminished, but there's always going to be gamblers, right? And it lets you basically leverage trade on Poles, PulseX, Hex. You can speculate on the prices. But interesting, right? The GMX price, look at the market cap of it. It used to be around 700, 800 million. Now it's back down to 250 million. What's going on here? Well, friends, like I tell you, man, GMX has one of the most innovative uh, tech in crypto from 2022. Doing that leverage trading, Oracle-based trading, so you don't need a full uh, book. But why isn't the market like reacting to it? Well, it's part of the DeFi sector, man. It's part of DeFi and the market has moved to new meme coins. Also AI, also restaking, also deep in these other subsectors and new narratives that have appeared. But that doesn't mean they're not cheap. Okay, so that's why when I see fame at 10 million market cap, I'm thinking, you know, friends, like I said, I could ignore it. I could do, I could just say nothing. But I'm just sh showing you, it's it's undervalued, man. It is undervalued. And I know there's the founder friends. Uh, it's just because a lot of people out here they don't know what's going on. All on Twitter, so the founders block me. They have like a bad reputation, but not bad as in contrary and bad. Like it's just a different type of that. There's, there's always a controversy about, hey, what happened to the money? What happened to the sacrifice projects and all these other things? It's just it's slinging back and forth. But who cares, bro? There's low prices and there's high prices. Okay. So I still, I think it's too cheap at 10 million market cap because you just got to think, right? If, if more people bridge in, do you think there's going to be gamblers? Yes. Okay. Probably some of those gamblers are leverage trade gamblers, but just to show you, don't just FOMO everything because, look, we know what people are doing now in crypto. They're not leverage trading. They're seeking something higher than leverage trading, which is meme coin trading. That's what they're doing. But they want new meme coins, new stories, and new narratives. However, I just I, when I see a cheap price, I'm not saying, hey, this will be the highest performer, the biggest return. I'm not saying that. I just think, hey, cheap prices are cheap prices. That's what I'm just showing you, all right? And it's 10 million today. I think one day... It could be 150 million, all right? So if you go back, you look at the fame price, look at the fame PLS ratio. This is very important to look at. You can just also see it's doing a round the bottom here. It's doing a round the bottom. But like if it was to go back up to like up here, look at that, you're about a three to four X on your pulse, which is better, I guess, than what Hex does to pulse. You see what I mean? So um, you're going further down the risk curve, but it's not, so you have super safe, and then you have, you know, you have Pulse, PulseX, and then you Hex and you Ink. And then you have maybe the Icosahedron because they're linked to Hex. And this is like around 
that type. It's around that vicinity. It's in the lower risk spectrum. All right? And then obviously we want like, hey, give me the highest risk. Give me all the Tangang coins and Pedi and Hexi Bastard, the Nine Inch and the Poor Plebs and, and then what's going on with SolidX and all these other, and Access Coin. You know, that's that's the first down the risk curve. So everything's on a risk curve. That's it. There's a risk curve. And it really is a utility coin, friends, because you can provide, people provide liquidity for people to trade back and forth <clears throat> using the, uh, using the basically the tokens on the website, and then the profits basically get redistributed into there and it just collects fees over time. So you actually are getting utility, the utility of the casino. All right, so it's it's different type of casino compared to PulseX, but it's, it's lower market cap. You know, imagine like PulseX, friends, is 500 million market cap. This is 10 million. So maybe fame should be like a 2 to 3x higher versus PulseX. This is showing you, hey, like it's, it's something that will outperform PulseX in the future, but when will it make up? You know, when will it wake up? You need, you need more Habibi Albis. I'll play for you some Habibi Albi music. We need the POS, the speed to rise, friends. And that's what you're pretty much playing for, okay? So, Rinna here, it needs POS, the speed to go up further and more users to come in and play in the casino, okay? So that's what I'm telling you. Hey, cheap price, cheap price. That's what I do, friends. I could ignore this. It is not gonna be the highest returner, okay? It's not going to. But some of you people out there, you want utility. I know, shout out to Corey and Dane. I always speak about utility coins. I know, Corey, bro. Where you are, man, I know exactly where you are. I don't know if you're going to like what you see <laughs> on the other end, bro. Dude, we're going to come. Oh, look, I'll tell you what you're going to see. You're going to see your friend Sami's prophecy that everybody's going to have a meme coin at the end. Because it's just culture being put onto the blockchain. It is what it is, okay? That's what's, that's what's happening. It's funny. Also... Revelation, friend. First time I've been thinking about it. Eureka moment live on stream. Okay. If you, you build a city for the first time, you need your plumbing and then your plumbers and the, the basic stuff. You need your hospital. You need your very, very basic living cost stuff, electricity. Once it's rich enough, then we start with culture and art and, and music and sports, things we can, we're bored now, right? We are rich enough. In crypto, we have a lot of utility. You know how you know that? We're starting to put the culture on the blockchain now. It's kind of showing you Bitcoin and crypto, it's way more mature than people think. People think, we're so early, we're so early, we're so early. Mm. Putting culture on the chain instead of utility now, what everyone's focusing on, meme coins and all that, that's moving into the, hey, okay, we have the hospitals, we have the basic necessities in the schools, let's go make Hollywood. Let's just entertain people because we're rich enough now. All right. So that's the important part to think about here. So um, you can find all the relevant Twitters and all the social metrics here. So I'm looking at Fame PLS, friends. So 10 million market cap, it is cheap. There's always controversy going back and forth. So, friends, like I tell you, man, I've got, a, I've got a literally a chiseled jaw, chiseled jaw, diamond jaw, diamond and diamond butt, diamond hands, diamond everything. You understand? So none of these phase me, man. I don't really care. I mean, there's also people, if you check the comments here, they're always saying, man, you're a bigger man than I am. That's what the comments are saying about me. So shout out to everybody out here, friends. A lot of people are asking, look, also Pablo has asked, what happened to the PHUX token? Yes, friends. So PHUX, friends, is a balancer, okay? Balancer fork. Now, you want to know something actually pretty funny? Balancer was Uniswap before Uniswap. Bet you didn't know that. Balancer had Uniswap done back in 2018, 2019. It was in their white paper. And then Uniswap just did it better. That's crazy, right? Look at this. Balancer, right? So they had their ICO, they don't have anything. But look, Balancer, friends, is like getting crushed. Look at the market cap here. Balancer's only 190 million. Look at the market cap, by the way. Market cap, because they keep minting the tokens. So what Balancer lets you do, instead of doing like two sides of a pool, it lets you do many. So you, like, it helps with like bigger liquidity movement and stuff here and there. But look, it's a DeFi coin. It's a DeFi coin, friends. It is what it is. So people are asking PHUX, it's just part of that. It's a, it's, a, it's a utility. It's You need it there to help everybody with liquidity and offering these incentives, but it's, it's a lower risk curve. It's lower part of the risk curve. It's pretty safe. But, you know, in crypto, man, yeah, pretty safe. Look what you get. Uh, by the way, if you want to see the real return, let's look at the ETH ratio. Yeah, going down, peak that 500K, down here to 65,000. You see that, like down 90% against ETH. So no surprises there, all right? That's pretty much what PHUX is. So fame... You get more upside. You can stake it. I think you can stake and earn fees. I forgot what the yield is. You can go and check the website if you want. Um, but you're, you're earning utility, right? You're earning money from the fees from everybody basically losing in their trading. They're paying the fees out here. So that's pretty much 
it's utility. You're earning like, hey, I'm earning part of the leverage part, but not the highest return. It is what it is, okay? Also interesting going through the comments here. Mr. Chon Del Futuro. Somi, I used to see your videos, but you only talk about cryptos that never do nothing. So many good opportunities out there. And I'm thinking like, uh, Habibi Albi, uh, Dick with butt, up 180x. Landwolf went up 220x. HOA went up 100x. Pulse Chain, Dice Stablecoin went up 5,000x. More and more and more and more. There's all of these coming up here. For instance, they're just, they, when they go, they swoop up so much. I, you know me, man, I can't tell you, hey, buy of a lifetime, it's up 600%. I don't, just don't do that. I don't do that. I wait for the bloody part back. By the way, same thing, exact same thing happened with our Icosa, right? Icosa pop, pops up, disappears for two, three months, comes back down. I start saying, hey, it's, it's cheap again, right? So I, I can't help these things when it comes down to it, man. Like if you want, I know what these people want. They want, hey, find me a coin that's gone up a thousand X and then start shilling it because it's gonna go up another thousand X. Like, doesn't happen like that, bro. You know it doesn't happen. You should be clearly not watch my videos because uh, show me an example where that kind of stuff has worked out. So yeah, baby dolls, you get to see that's utility, right? That's what if you want utility, yeah, uh, fame. If you want, there's many options out here for you, but there's no uncertainty with that. So the volatility of people and jumping onto it, there's no like narrative to speculate on. You know, everything is just narrative and speculation. Whereas if I just say to you. P die to one dollar. You're like, whoa! Now, even if it never rallies for the rest of its life, doing this chart, I mean, you, we're already checking it out, man. We we already know. Okay, can you get to one dollar? Like, hmm, what would get to us? Want everyone? It's so easy for everyone to understand, friends. That's the thing. Okay, if there's five people in a room, they all have ten thousand dollars. They're all using a ten thousand dollar allocation. It doesn't matter that one guy's smart and one guy isn't, okay? All that matters is the narrative that gets most of them to basically allocate the $10,000. So there's five people, fancy four of them are, I guess, you know, like zero IQ. Four of them are zero IQ, one person's a genius. If your narrative can get the zero IQ people in, doesn't matter. You have 10, 10, 10, 10, bang. Okay, the smart person doesn't get in, who cares? Who cares? That smart person, you know, you see what I mean? It take, takes so much effort to convince a smart person. They're utility coins. That, that's pretty much why it works out that way. But guess what? That smart person, they never get to experience like the 50x and the minus 90% bust. They're just like, hey, we're up like 3x. Yay. You know, that's pretty much utility coins. So, you know, I don't, I don't want to talk about PDI all the time. It's just funny to see how these things work out. That's why you got to look at the ratio. So if you want that, that's completely up to you. It exists. Utility coins, friends, this is pretty much... Or what it comes down to. Also, you may have heard of another utility coin, maybe called PulseX, which is also funny. Yes, it's a utility coin. You go, what is it? What are you using for? Well, owning the coin, you own a share of the casino. All right, every time there's trading, it buys up the PulseX coins from the marketplace. Okay, but yeah, look at obviously you see what it is. Where's the speculation part? Where's the speculation part? Right. So that, that's pretty much it, right? You're going along a risk curve, and all these all these are available here for you, but. This is what you got to see, man. Look, friends, uh, if DeFi was going to punch as much as it was going to last cycle, we would have seen DeFi coins do something like a peppy run already. There's been none. There's been Pendle, just Pendle. Do you know what Pendle is, friends? You get Ethereum yield. They split the yield into two tokens. They've already done this in traditional finance, by the way. So they can do no loss investments, no loss. Basically, you just gamble with the inflation. It's kind of like if I told you, hey, uh, stake your Pulse and Pulse X, but only buy meme coins with your ink yield. It's the exact same thing, pretty much. There's no real innovation. It's just they kind of like dressed it up in a protocol that makes it look like it's innovation. I guess it's cool enough, right? But that Pendle went up to like a billion valuation, did like 100x plus. It was kind of an amazing run, right? So Pendle and Arbitrum. So that's what they can do. Do you have the, the, the principal token and the yield token? And they're like, oh, we can move stuff with the yield token. Yeah, yeah. But you, you're not, you, it's, they call it no loss investment. That's a the real trick, okay? It's just you don't lose your principal, but you lose on the inflation part. It's just your opportunity cost is lost. But psychologically, like, wow, it's a free punt. Okay, it's the exact same thing, okay? So that's a, that is pretty much the only like DeFi unicorn that, that's come out. You haven't heard of it, so clearly it wasn't DeFi enough, right? Have you heard of Pendle? No, yeah, it doesn't. Pendle sounds like a a like Kama Sutra sex move where you're like pin dropping. I don't know, you know what I mean? Like something, that's what it sounds like, Pendle. <laughs> but Peppy, you're like, oh, the frog, the frog, the ribbiting Peppy made it all the way to Binance, rallied in a bear market. 
You see what I mean? Already, friends, already. Pete, I had a $1. It's kind of crazy, man. It's kind of crazy. That's it. So there you go. Utility, friends, it is available here for you. And yeah, prices are cheap if you want to accumulate, but expect low returns if you get that. Okay. Then, but you never know, man. Maybe there's a DeFi resurgence. I found the fascinating too that GMX and Fame, both of them went up and down again. That's weird. They're different chains, different whatever. It's just there's in and out. It's kind of just telling you where the market is like fading off from this DeFi stuff here and there. Trust me, man, there's a narrative that gets everybody, friends, and not all of them are perfect. Some of them, look, D DeFi, friends, I thought DeFi was really, really going to take over the world because it was just so easy to understand and it relates to the Wall Street boomers and all the suits over there. No one cared. No one cared because they're all grifters pretty much out in Wall Street world. They're just here to supply shares and ETFs to dump on retail, okay? But who dictates the price? The demand of retail. Okay, the demand of retail, don't give a shit about your DeFi tokens. You pretty much do all your stuff out here. They're going to another sector. Have you heard of meme coins? Have you heard of AI? Have you heard of restaking? Kind of restaking, not really. Have you heard of DPIN? You know what I mean? That's where retail says, hey, we want this type of stuff. So our goal is to try to be ahead of that curve, ahead of that curve. Problem with AI, too high. Okay, you have to get in Launchpad stuff like me. VVV, Launchpad, pay Launchpad. Problem with restaking, too high. You and I don't get the tokens from Igon Lay and all the other trash coins. Problem with Layer 2 chains. They don't let you and me in either. You understand? There's a problem with all of these narratives. They're not letting you and me in. Their prices are too high. However, there's one sector where they do let us in. Meme coins. New meme coins, that is. New meme coins. I've got to remember specifically. Doge and Shib, you're old, brother. You're old. New meme coins. They let us in. New stuff with tang and, and flavor and flair. They're letting us in. They start from zero. The market hasn't figured it out yet. Eventually it will, and maybe it's going to be marked by, I don't know, Katy Perry launches a coin, Ty Lopez launches a coin, sports stars start launching a coin. Like people actually just launch their own meme coins. They actually go out there and do it. Oh man, that's going to be great if that happens, friends. Oh man, it's going to be the most easiest top signal of all time. Okay, but there, there you go. I've just shown you fame, for example, friends. It's going to dump with everything else as well. But there you go. If you, if you want something, at least you sleep at night. Like, ah, oh, where's the demand coming from? Where's the demand coming from? Well, people, the demand for your coin is coming from people who buy the, who participate in the leverage trading. They're paying a fee. That fee is your demand. That fee comes out and you're earning. You're earning. You see that? That's where it is. But there you go. Learn the risk curve you have. Make sure you like, subscribe, catch you soon.